Hi, in this lecture we will talk about digital light processing 3D printing process. So in earlier lectures we have talked about various 3D printing processes. So let's talk about digital light processing. So DLP stands for digital light processing. Uh, basically it is a type of weight polymerization technique. Weight polymerization 3D printing technologies make use of liquid photopolymer resin which is able to cure solidify under a light source. So as we have discussed about SLA steel lithography type of 3D printing where we are also using a liquid resin and uh, when the laser comes to contact with liquid resin the liquid resin will solidify similarly this DLP is also like SLA where uh, both the technologies SLA and DLP are quite similar and uh, basically both are both are on the same fundamentals where they use where they use liquid resin and they will uh, send a light source and then this liquid resin will solidify and make a layer. So before understanding about DLP, let's talk about SLA. So in SLA stereolithography, as I told you, a laser will be, be contact with liquid resin and then with the contact of liquid and then liquid resin will be solidified. Similarly, uh, when we talk about DLP, in DLP, it is also a, a sister technology of SLA. The biggest difference between SLA and DLP is that in DLP, we will use light source as a digital light projector screen. Here in DLP, we are using digital light projector screen for curing our wet polymer or liquid resin. But in SLA, we are using lasers. So uh, the ma major difference between in SLA, we are using laser, DLP, we are using projector. So when we talk about SLA, the laser has to individually cure the resin point to point technique on the other hand if you talk about dlp dlp projector screen flashes an image of a layer all at once thus all points of a layer can be cured simultaneously and in this way the print speed is increased in comparison to sla since it takes less time to cure a single layer so the biggest difference is that uh, the light source is different and due to the changing of light source here in when projector screen this projector uh, flashes his image then layer will be laid down in a single second or in single time but if you talk about but if you talk about laser it, it cannot happen so here you can see the working of dlp like the, here in bottom side there is a projector and this light light beam is going to contact with your our liquid resin and when this light beam will contact with liquid resin it will uh, it will change into a solid layer and then again this build platform will uh, go down uh, uh, one step and this process will be repeated and within very less uh, time your model will be created so there is a difference between uh, dlp and sla quality of print because in sla as we are using uh, lasers so the quality are very good but in dlp as we are using a projector light source and if the resolution of your image or light is low then you will not get a finished model so uh, here make sure that always your projector light projector should be a good quality or have uh, some high resolution so this is the working of uh, digital light processing i hope you have understand about how this digital light processing works thank you if you want to learn 3d printing from design to finished product you can join the full course this course consists 50 plus video lectures and course is divided in so many modules you can check the detailed information in description box. In this course, along with video lectures, you will get QJs, assignments and notes. After the completion of the course, you will get authorized certificate which can be useful for your academic or job interviews. So click to the link present in description box and start your 3D printing journey now.